So let's examine the following example in which we essentially have to apply Hooke's Law. So, four people get into a car that has a mass of 2,000 kilograms and the springs in that car compress a vertical distance of 2.5 centimeters. Assuming that the car has one spring, find a, the mass of the four people if the spring constant is 7.0 times 10 to the 4 newtons per meter and in part b so assuming the car has one spring constant find the spring constant if the four people weigh a total of 250 kilograms so let's begin with a the mass of the four people if the spring constant is given to you so let's examine our diagram. In the diagram, we have a simplified diagram of the car. So let's assume four people get onto the following platform, which is our car, and the single spring in that car compresses a distance of 0.025 meters. We take this value and divide it by 1,000 to convert from centimeters to meters. So we want to calculate the total mass of these four people. So when the spring compresses, our car is in static equilibrium. The spring is in static equilibrium. And that means the force created by the spring, which points uh, upward, is equal to the force of gravity, which points downward. So mg, the force of gravity, is equal to the force created by the spring, k times change in x. So we want to calculate what m is, so we isolate m, and m is equal to k times change in x divided by g, our gravitational constant. So, we know what k is, we know what our change in x is, and we know what our g is. We multiply the top, divide by the bottom, and we get approximately a mass of 179 kilograms. So, that means the total mass of the four people that get into the car is 179 kilograms. What about part B? Assuming that the car has one spring, find the spring constant if the four people weigh a total of 250 kilograms. So once again, the people get into the car, the spring compresses, it comes to a complete stop, so static equilibrium. And that means we use this diagram. So m times g is equal to k times change in x. The force of gravity acting on the people is equal to the spring force that's acting on those people. So we isolate our k. We say that k is equal to m times g divided by change in x. So m times g is 250 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second. Divide that by a displacement of 0.025 meters. And we obtain a value of 9.8 times 10 to the 4 newtons per meter is the spring constant. 